Hi there, I'm Steve Vamos, the CEO of Xero, and the 6th of July 2021 marks 15 years since Xero was registered as a company in Wellington, New Zealand. Recognising this moment in our journey, this time in our journey, by establishing what we call Xero Day. And Zero Day is an opportunity for us to reflect on the journey, but also to think about and appreciate the accounting and bookkeeping partners, the small business customers, and all the stakeholders who have been a really important part of Zero's journey. And I'm really excited today to be joined by our founder, Rod Drury. So let's go back 15 years and to that apartment in Wellington. What, what was behind the vision, the inspiration to create Zero and to do what, what happened? 15 years is crazy, isn't it? Oh. I remember back in uh, flat 404, flat not found, um, there was uh, me and Craig, Fletch, OG, and I uh, got this little merry brand of people to come together and build cloud-based accounting software. And the kind of funny thing was, we always knew it would be big, it just had that feel from the start. So looking back after 15 years, that journey is you know, just nuts. Who or what inspired you to come up with the Zero product? The idea of the product had come out um, quite a few years before. I, I worked for Arthur Young, which came Ernst and Young, and was a was a programmer. And I think as a programmer who um, works inside um, those sort of firms, you want to build your own accounting system. And doing it on a relational database in the cloud was really exciting. But I remember when we saw when we first met Philip Furling, our original head of design. I mean, Craig was a crack coder. We had Fletch. Uh, we managed to get OG in pretty early to write this amazing help manual. But with Philip, he brought this design-led approach and that really sealed what was different about Xero. We really took this design focus and um, there were some really good stories back in the first few years where um, you know, we went back and, and looked at the process where we discovered that bank reconciliation feature and created this moment of magic. And that was you know, some of the really special times. So the idea had been around for a while, but when we formed this great uh, early team and just saw great design coming into great software development, it felt pretty special. One of the uh, very courageous things um, and significant things was the decision to IPO the business early. In fact, before you had much revenue and only a handful of customers. Tell us a little bit about um, what went behind your thinking to, to go and take that big step. Well, well, we knew that um, we needed about 50 people from day one. You know, we needed 10, to, 10 you know, we have 10 developers, we need 10 people doing testing, we probably need some sales people, some customer care people. So we needed 50 people from day one, that's about half a million a month. And because we weren't getting paid up front, like traditional licensing at the time, we were getting a small amount every month, we figured we needed about three years, which was sort of 15 million bucks. And back at that time, New Zealand's biggest VC, or VC deal was two or three million dollars. So um, we just didn't have that as an option. So right at that time, we thought, thought we could tell a story and just list early. And uh, like we didn't have 100 customers when we thought that we would, um, you know, when we, when we pitched the idea, we probably had about 10. And our goal was having 100 customers at the time we actually listed. Yeah, I think it's a really important message too, that you can have the vision and the belief in an idea, but uh, really getting your head around the, the economic realities of it is critical to success. And, Clearly, you, you, you had that. Yeah, and um, like even before we started Zero, I kind of knew that um, that it would be just fun to build a web-based double-entry relational accounting system. So before I did Aftermail, actually, I actually um, spent about 10 days at home and wrote the database on Active Server Pages too. Actually, wrote the first one. So built this prototype, and it felt really, really good. But at that point, I wanted to build a business I could basically build up and, and sell. And accounting software isn't that, it's a long-term thing. You have a long-term relationship with customers. So we actually parked the idea of what became Zero earlier on and actually went and did a company called Aftermail, which I sold quite quickly. And that gave us the capital to do Zero properly. And also just started that kind of reputation which allowed us to, to do an IPO. And then we got you know, our amazing uh, first team in and you know, just hired better and better people all the way through. So Rod, thank you for uh, taking the time to uh, join me and answer these questions and really thank you also from all the accountants, bookkeepers and small business customers who have uh, gained so much as a result of Xero being a platform and an application software environment that has really made a difference. Um, it's, uh, it's awesome how that vision that you had 15 years ago has become a reality that has done such, so much good for so many and it's still super early days. So 
Thanks for joining us and thanks for everything that you've done for Zero to this point and continue to do as a director of the company. Well, I mean, I have to thank you, Steve, for all the stuff that you've been doing. Our team, it's so exciting to see staff that we still have, you know, in the business 15 years later and all those early accountants and book, bookkeepers that, um, you know, have really become friends and family as well. Happy Zero Day. Thank <laughs> you.